Bam! Three minutes and the truth, y'all. Hey, my name is Brent Baxter. I'm a pro songwriter with Cuts by these folks and others, and I help songwriters turn pro by teaching how to write like a pro, how to do business like a pro, and on a regular basis, I connect you to the pros. Today, I want to talk about three minutes and the truth about writing with a pro songwriter. Here's the deal. Writing with a pro songwriter, it's great if you can pull it off. It's great if you get in the room with them. It is not a magic bullet. It is not an easy button. Hey, I write with a pro songwriter, with a hit songwriter, every time I write me and most of my stuff still doesn't get cut and that's true for any pro songwriter in the business most of their stuff doesn't get cut if they're an outside writer trying to get songs on records most of their stuff still doesn't get cut so if you're looking at it if as hey if i can just get in the room with whoever the you know your hit songwriter of choice is right if i can just get in the room with that person i won't get a cut that's going to happen for me well you know what yeah the odds increase but it is not automatic. It's not automatic for any of them. All right. So that's one thing you have to remember. And also you need to remember that a day that a pro writes with you is a day they're saying no to everybody else they could be writing with. And that's one of the reasons it's hard to get in a room with a pro because we're all struggling, you know, to get that next cut. It's not assured. It's not a sure thing. It's hard to get. And so we're looking at our options, trying to give ourselves the best chance to succeed and so any day we say yes to a particular co-writer, we're saying no to everybody else we could be writing with that day. And that's an important thing because we only have so many days that we can write. So that's part of it. Don't take it personally. If it's hard to get in the room with a the pro, they're not trying to big time you. They're just trying to feed their families. But the big thing is, if you think that's going to fix everything, if I can just get in a room with a pro, it doesn't fix everything. All right. So my first hit, Monday Morning Church, Alan Jackson, top five country hit, I didn't write it with a pro. Well, I wrote with a pro, but she wasn't a pro yet. Erin Enderlin, she was in college. She hadn't had a cut yet. I hadn't had a cut yet. I was still living in Little Rock, Arkansas. But you know what? We were both hit songwriters. We just didn't know it yet, right? It just hadn't happened yet. We were supposed to write that first hit together. And so don't neglect the people in your peer group. It's great if you can get in a room with a pro. But you know what? A lot of times that's not going to yield immediate results. It's not going to yield that uh, that magic formula, that magic something that's going to turn your career around. It can be a great learning opportunity to get in the room and go, wow, that's how they think about this stuff. So it can be great for relationship building. If you blow the doors off, then they can introduce you to other pros and that's all great, but it's not going to magically make everything better. You need to keep working on your craft Keep writing the best songs you can with the best people you can get with, people that are working hard, being smart about it, and being professional in how they conduct themselves. And then one of these days, you might be that pro that other people are hoping are going to write with them and solve all their problems. My name is Brent Baxter. This has been 3 Minutes in the Truth.